Good morning, everybody. Well, we just got on the water here. We are at Dutch Gap Boat Ramp on the James River. I got my buddy RVA Yacker right here pulling up. Got my other buddy Dave in the distance. We're gonna see if we can connect with something today that is made out of scales and bones. We're going for some largemouth bass and man, I had. <laughs> Guys, if this is the first time you stopped by my channel, much appreciated. Consider hitting the subscribe button, a little bell notification to let you know when I release more fishing shenanigans. Leave a comment, hit a like, let's go catch some fish. So we decided to stick around the power plant area to do a little fishing. And then we made our way up to the conservation area, which is about a 45 minute or so paddle. Wow, uh, look at that, guys. Woo, beautiful. Yacker is trolling a whopper plopper. They're still popping all around. Yeah. I just don't know. What do you think? They're shad? Yeah, I'm guessing they're shad. And I'm also wondering why the heck somebody would bite something fake looking when they got like every. When they have all this great bait fish to eat? Yeah. I mean, these are big fish right here, though. I know. Yeah, I mean, uh, it's just crazy. It drops, it drops down, and then is just, it's like a cloud of fish. Right. Whoa! I don't know what the heck that was. Something just exploded right in front of my boat. Holy c All right, people, we made our way all the way around to the Dutch Gap Wildlife Conservation Area. This is the little, let's say, canal or inlet that connects up into it. So we're gonna see if we can connect with some fish on the way up to it. There is RVA Yacker right in front of me. Fish on? on nice. Catch it. Catch it. Nice. <laughs> Got the skunk out of the kayak, man. Oh, there's a cicada that is in the water. We will now become fish food. I tried saving a cicada not long ago. I think they just get to the end of their life and they fall in the water and then become fish food. So the barge pitch should be up to the right a bit. I don't know, dude. Like nails and rope and... This could be pieces also, you know? This could be a barge also, I suppose. Uh, I'm at like eight, eight feet right where I am here. What a unique body of water here. Yeah. I think that this is a barge. This, what we think is, yeah, this is not an island. The dude wasn't kidding. It looks like an island. It's a barge. That's so cool. So cool. Mother nature just kind of takes over, doesn't it? That's a 
fish, guys. Oh, that's a fish. Nice. Oh, yeah, that's a nice fish, too. Whoa, that's a solid, solid fish, guys. Solid, solid fish. Woo! Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Skunk is out of the boat. Yes, sir. On the on the wacky rig, people. On the wacky rig. Woo! That is a solid fish. Solid, solid fish. Very nice. Very nice. Let's get that lens cleaned off. Look at that fish, guys. Look at that. Look at that largemouth. Look at that, dude. Nice. Look at that. Yes, indeed. What's that, like two, two and a half? Yeah, that's what I'm guessing. I got to get my scale. 2.85. All right. Getting bigger every time. Maybe <laughs> 2.85, guys. Right there. Look at that fish. Mmm. Just a, just a really, really pretty fish. Very pretty. All right, Ron, my viewers want to see it. What was that? My viewers want to see the fish. Let's see, man. Right nice. there, right there, baby. Good one. Very good. Right there. Man, this current is. I'm not used to this stuff, man. That was a success. All right, one, one. We each got a fish. All right, let's go ahead and get this, get this fish back in the water. Uh, yeah, um, yeah. Well, I mean, that's kind of where I think the majority of the barges are. So, come on, you can do it. You can do it. There we go. Right, that was a solid, solid fish. Just almost, almost three pounds. And I caught him with this wacky rig right here. Hopefully you can, you can see that perhaps. It is a black and reddish wacky rig on a um, kind of a weedless setup, eight ounce weight. We are looking at an old barge here that's just been sunk and deteriorated. And these fish just kind of hang out around them. It's pretty, pretty cool looking actually. Pretty cool. Gotta be careful. There's a lot of stuff to get snagged on. You can see, see right here, all these, what looks like just part of the island is actually sunken barges that mother nature has kind of taken over and degraded and rotted and seeded and pretty remarkable <laughs> Headed to that down tree right there. See if we can find a fish hiding off of that thing. If I was a fish, I'd be like, that's where I'm hanging out. But I'm not a fish, so I don't really know what I'm talking about. However, it does look like a place a fish could hang out. A little better of a cast right by right by that. Right there. Perfecto. Definitely going over it. Ah, that's a hit. Oh my gosh. I just got bitten off. Holy moly. Oh my gosh. Something. Something monstrous was over there. All right, all right, all right. Da -de -da -da -da. Oh, 
Oh yeah. Okay. Is that a fish, guys? I think so. Oh, crapper. You want to take a break? We really needed to get out of the sun, so we pulled up to our own private little beach, chilled out for a bit, and then headed back out on the water. Well, let's go. We're, I'm heading straight ahead. There is a brush pile right there. And if it's in, I'm in seven, eight feet of water. If it's in similar depth water, there's going to be a fish on it. There's going to be a fish. I can feel it. that is that I'm seeing on the schnizzle popper over here but it's in eight feet of water I did not like that current back there at the end you know it's 98 degree water at the foot deep if there's a bass in it, I would think it'd probably be dead. dead. Yeah. <laughs> Man, it went from like 12 and a half feet to a foot, like in 10 feet, 15 feet.